Dearest, most gracious Heavenly Father, we come today, Lord, thanking you for who you are, thanking you for blessing us, for watching over us as we slumbered and slept, and protecting us, Lord, throughout the night. Father, we thank you for this day because this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh Lord, we thank you for new mercies that greeted us at the foot of our bed, Lord. Your angels were encamped about us, Father God, and we're just so grateful and we say glory, hallelujah. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Father, we come today asking that you give us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Create one, Father God. For we know we're not worthy of approaching your throne of grace, but we come, Lord, repenting of our sins, Lord, and we also come, Lord, asking that you forgive our sins of omission and commission. As we go before you today, Lord, united together, Lord, we ask that you will be in the midst. You said in your word that where two or three are gathered together, you would be in the midst. Father, we come this day lifting up those who are in need of prayer, Father God. We come believing in our hearts that you will, Lord, because you said in your word that if we ask, if we seek, if we knock, Lord, that you would be there. Lord, we also know that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and that the tongues that rise up against us will be cut off because we are the servants of you, Father God. So we just ask that you humbly accept our repentance and that you be with us as we come before you. Father, today we are praying for our nation, Lord. We're praying that we will continue to be healed as a country, Father God, and that we as a people will be united as one body in Christ, Lord. We pray, Father God, for those who are in leadership in government, Father God, our president, President Biden, Lord. We pray as well, Father God, for our Vice President Harris, and for all those in a leadership role at the state and local levels, Father God. We pray for the governors, Father, who have made difficult decisions in this time, Lord, when we're going through such a crisis with this pandemic, Father God. We ask that you continue, Lord, to let the positivity rates go down and continue to heal people, continue to allow people to have access to the vaccines that have been created Lord, because we know that you are the ultimate physician and that all that we do, Lord, is in your name. We thank you for our seniors. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our first responders, Lord, our teachers who are in the classroom, the children that have to go back to school and the educators and all those, Lord, who need protection, Father God. We just ask that you continue to heal them and put your loving arms around them. Father, we ask that you also uh, work with those who are in hospitals, Lord, because we know that they have been on the battlefield for over a year now, Lord, and that this time, Lord, last year, who knew that such a time as this would happen around our world and definitely in our country. So Father, heal the nation, continue to bless us and to keep us in your care. Lord, we also are asking that as our children go back to school, you will bless their minds and open their hearts and help them to continue to learn, continue to heal them, Lord, from the inside out and protect them from any hurt, harm, or danger. We ask that you work with the educators, Lord, to give them the strength that they need and the stamina and the fortitude, Lord, to continue to educate our children. The administrators, please let them all come together for the kids, Father God. Bless the parents, Lord, who are some are keeping their children at home that have to be educators at home and they have to work. They have to provide for their children. Lord, just touch them, touch our entire educational system. And Father God, we also ask that you touch those who have lost loved ones to this terrible thing, Lord. Over 500,000 people in this country alone, not to mention around the world, Lord, have lost a loved one, Father God, to this terrible disease. We pray for all those souls that have just gone on, Father God. We pray for their families and for those who they've left behind, Lord, that are mourning. You said in your word that blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And we're believing, God, that you have comforted and will continue to comfort those families. Father God, but people have passed on for other things that are not related to COVID. And we know, Lord, that you're in the midst. Continue to touch those who are just grieving from cancer and diabetes and heart disease and other tragedies and gun violence and all the other things that are going on in the world. Touch those who are grieving today, Lord. 
We also ask, Father God, for those who are still sick and shut in, Lord. They may be in hospitals. They may be in rest nursing homes. They may be in their own homes, Father God. Bless them and keep them in your care. Touch them with your loving finger of love, Lord, and just continue to protect them, protect their caretakers who still are not able to get to them, Father. But we know that all things work together for good, for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So we ask that you touch them. Lord, we ask that you touch our faith leaders, Lord, our our ministers, our pastors, the leaders of our church, our church family, Lord, Salem Baptist Church, Reverend Meeks, Reverend Breckenridge, and all the others, Reverend Sean, Reverend Thurston, you know, Lord. Bless the first families, bless their families, Lord, and bless those who are in a leadership role who have to continue to lift us up as we continue to fight the good fight of faith, Lord. We pray, Father God, that no weapon, Father God, will come against them and we also pray, Lord, that we all stand united behind them. Help us not to get weary in well-doing, Lord, for we, will not, we won't faint, Lord, because we know, Lord, that it won't be that long. We just have to have patience as we all stay in, as we're all sequestered, Lord. We know that you are keeping us and that you are just watching over and protecting us, Lord. We ask, Father God, that you continue to lift up each and every person that is represented here on this prayer band today, Father God. There are so many requests for so many things, Lord. Bless our jobs, bless our finances, bless our homes, Lord. Bless those who are dealing with weather issues, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for delivering people from those terrible storms that are in the Southern states and particularly in the state of Texas, Lord. Continue to wrap your arms around the people that are suffering, that are going through, Father God. We know, Lord, that you will be the ultimate provider. We pray that you protect their homes, their belongings, protect their loved ones, Father, who are near and dear to their hearts, Lord, and give them basic needs like water, Father God. We know that it rains on the just as well as the unjust, Father God, so we know that weather is a part of life, Lord, but we have no fear because we have faith. We have faith that you will continue to to protect us during all the seasons, Lord. But just give us the ability, Lord, to hold on and to hold out because we know you are here, Lord. And as we look, Father God, to those things that are being lifted in our chat, we ask, Father God, that we continue to pray for those who are in need, Father, that we thank you, Lord, for the ability to come together as one united body in Christ, because you said that laughter is good medicine. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray that we still have joy in our hearts. Continue to give us that throughout the day and to keep us, Lord, as we continue to go through. We're praying for Sister Camille today, Lord, that you continue to help her with her vehicle situation and finances like all of us, Lord. Bless our homes and our finances, Father God. We're praying today for Sister Rakaya that God would remove the distractions that we can all stay focused, hallelujah, as one body in Christ on your plan for our lives and your voice, dear Lord. We're also praying today that we will all be able to declare and to decree that the Lord, hallelujah, that your promises are sure. Your word says that, Lord, and our testimony stand as sure as well, Lord. We also are looking for financial overflow for Tisha and for all things that are happening to us in our bodies, Lord. So many of us are isolated in our homes. We're working and we're sitting at computers and we're doing things that are causing us to have back strains. Hallelujah, Lord. Sciatica and all kinds of things heal our bodies. Give us the ability to come together, Lord. One day, Lord, we'll all be able to go out and be able to get more exercise and help us through these, these difficult physical things. We also pray, Lord, for Dr. Carol and her son, Joshua. Oh, my God, Lord, a child that, is, that has failed, Lord. We just pray that he is healed from his injury on the basketball court. We pray for Sister Michelle today, Lord. The spirit of salvation. Yes, Father God, we all need that. And to uplift our bereaved families, because like I said, in your word, Lord, you promised us. You say, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And we know you are there to comfort us. And Father God, we also are asking for Sister Kimmy, prayers on financing things that are financial needs. 
we all need to be able to stay focused and keep our minds and eyes set on you above, Lord. Open our hearts, Lord. Please, Father God, just give us a chance to be able, to, Lord, to have wisdom and teaching under any circumstance that you would get the glory because at the end of the day, Lord, it's about you and the wisdom that we need. You said anyone who lacks wisdom should seek and ask it in your name. Oh, Father God, we pray for Miss Arlene today, Lord. We're asking that she continuously help her family and that we continue to watch over those, Lord, that just need some healing. Her sister, Lord, Miss Shaney, Lord, we just pray for her. We pray, Father God, for the Banks family as they funeralize Dr. Banks, who was the founder of Urban Ministries, Lord. You know that so many people, millions of people around the world have been blessed, Lord, by that publication, the ability to study your word and the Sunday school lesson, Lord. And we pray for the man of God who has gone on to get his reward, Lord. And we continue to pray, Father God, for those who are here left behind to continue his work because Father God, we know that you are in the midst of that work. So continue to bless that family. And Father, as we conclude, we ask once again to not forget our brothers and sisters who are in Texas and all those who are going through situations, Lord, in the storm and continue to just unite us as one. Lord, we humbly repent and we humbly ask, Lord, these blessings. We know, Lord, that you are capable of doing all things, Lord, but we pray, Lord, that it would be in your will that these prayers be honored. In Jesus' name, we pray today, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and thank you, Lord. God, amen. Amen. Bless you, God. Thank, God. You, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you.